Hi everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways and welcome to our third in the installment of Simple Suppers. Tonight we are making an Italian pasta sausage bake and it's going to be so good. So let's get started. Okay, we are going to do a few things to start with. One, get a pot of um, water boiling because you're going to need to boil up a pound of pasta or noodles and that's up to you what kind you would like to use. I am using the Penarigati though so um, I'll put this all down in the description box. So get that going and then we're going to start with our sausage. I have a mild Italian sausage but you can use a hot or spicy or even the sweet variety if you want. But we're going to get that in the frying pan and we're going to start browning that up. Okay, when you got the sausage about halfway brown, then add your next ingredients, which is going to be chopped mushrooms. However many you want to put in there is up to you. I'm using between say four and six ounces and you want to add it at this point in time because they don't take that long to cook but mushrooms do have that tendency to sweat a little bit so if you happen to have a sausage that has a, a little bit higher fat content you're going to end up draining this and then so any extra liquid from the mushroom if there is any can be drained at that time. So we're just going to keep moving this around, trying to break it up as best we can. And it's almost done. Not quite. I'm going to turn this heat down just a little bit here. So I can slow down the cooking just a bit so it doesn't burn because my water is boiling and now I'm going to add my pasta. Okay, the meat and mushrooms are done and so is the pasta. So we're going to just put the pasta in with the meat mixture. You can stir that around a little bit, just mixing it up. Now, if you wanted to put mushrooms, oh geez, onions and garlic and stuff in here, go ahead and do that. But um, the sausage itself is already, you know, got a lot of spice in it. And then so does our next ingredient, which is marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce. Now, um, I'm going to be using a quart. This is a... Uh, some that I canned up myself, but uh, of course you can go and get it from the store. Just make sure you get as close to a quart size as you can. And you know, the preference is yours, whatever kind of sauce you like best. And just mix that around. You want to get all of your noodles and meat coated with the sauce. It already smells really good. This is a very filling dish. And so if you've got, you know, some big eaters coming to dinner, this is something you're definitely going to want to cook. And it doesn't take that long. It, you know, it, it ends up tasting like you worked half the day on it, but you didn't. And that's what's nice. Okay, we have this all mixed together and now we're going to get it into our pan. Okay, this is your standard 9 by 13 and we're going to put about half of our mixture in here. Just go ahead and scoop it on in. You can also make this with chicken if you like, or even ground beef. I just feel that the Italian sausage 
adds just so much more flavor to it that I really enjoy that. Okay, we got about half of it in there. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spread about a cup of mozzarella cheese on there. Now I have an eight ounce package in my hand here and eight ounces um, is usually about two cups of cheese. So you're just gonna use about half of the package. And that's just going to add some real good, tasty, ooey gooeyness to it. Now, if you have it, go ahead and add some Parmesan as well. Parmesan and Italian type foods just go hand in hand. And just spread that out. Use however much you like. I'm not really measuring here. And that should be good. Then we're going to add the rest of our meat and pasta mixture on top. Go ahead and spread that all over. And then we're going to add the rest of our mozzarella cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? I know, I love it. You got a bunch of hungry kids at home. This is a perfect dinner for them. And as a side dish, go ahead and make up some garlic bread if you want, a nice salad. Um, I'm gonna have a nice, crusty Italian bread on the side myself. There we go. I think that's all of the mozzarella and we will add a little bit more of the Parmesan again. Now you're going to put this in a 375 oven. I probably should have told you ahead of time to preheat it. Um, and you're going to bake this for about 20 minutes. It won't take long. And no, you don't need to cover it. It can be baked uncovered. So we'll pop this in the oven and then we'll see how it looks. Well, it is done and let me tell you, it smells fabulous. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please thumbs up. That would be great. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and go ahead and share the video. That would be great. It was nice talking to you and you take care.